as needed. Also, colleagues, I want to thank you again for your, your, your unanimous support of declaring the NRA a domestic terrorist organization, words I will not shy away from. The resolution, as we know, is non-binding, but still calls them out for what they have done to this country. I want to thank the mayor's office for clarifying for the NRA what we already know. I also want to thank the mayor for her support and for taking seriously our sentiments on this subject. Since we passed this resolution, the Times reported that Wayne LaPierre, the NRA's chief lobbyist, offered financial support for the president's impeachment defense and asked Trump to stop the games on gun control legislation. A new Senate report revealed that the NRA was a foreign asset to Russia ahead of 2016. Another report and audit revealed that the NRA board retroactively approved transactions benefiting insiders. They've continued to block the U.S. Senate from taking up House bills on gun reform that will save lives, including universal background checks on all gun sales, something that 96% of Americans approve of. Approve of. Today happens to be the two-year anniversary of the deadliest mass shooting in this country. The Las Vegas shooting left 58 dead and 422 wounded, not to mention over 20,000 who ran for their lives, the hundreds who witnessed the deaths, the ones who attended the dying, who attempted and failed to save lives. Most, if not all of them, will live with PTSD, nightmares, and depression. Most of them will likely never feel safe attending a concert or a public event again. It will affect their work lives, their relationships, the way they raise their children. We often hear about the over 36,000 Americans killed by guns every year, but we don't hear about the more than 100,000 gunshot victims who survive and the family members whose lives are shattered. We don't hear about the grueling trials, medical bills, the lifelong physical and emotional complications, the inability to work. We don't hear about those who survive the loss of a loved one, the grieving parents, widows, and children left behind. The media rarely reports on the trauma experienced by the witnesses, the EMTs, the police, the people who clean up the blood and the mess. We don't hear about the marriages that crumble in the aftermath, the parents who die of a heart attack or cancer or suicide after the loss of a child. We don't hear about the mothers who give up their own lives and lose their careers so they can care for an inca incapacitated child or the community members whose sense of safety and justice have been forever shattered. Gun violence is an epidemic, a monster with tentacles that reach far and wide. It is a public health crisis of ec epic proportion to which our nation's leader and many legislators have turned a blind eye all with the blessing of the National Rifle Association, who doesn't give a damn about the terror I just mentioned. That is why I will not shy away from calling them out for what they are. That is why I will persevere in spite of any criticism hurled my way. That is why I will never stop fighting with everything I have at my disposal to keep our communities safe so that we can all live in a country free from gun violence. The NRA's reckless assault on America will come to an end. We will make certain of it. The rest I submit. Thank you, Supervisor Stephanie. Supervisor Walton.